we, we are with Shamim, a Muslim, hostess of by far the best political program on Ghana Radio, according to me. Yay. A campaign show. Congratulations, Shamima. Thank you very much. What has it been like hosting such a hot program? Well, it's, it's been very challenging in one breath and very, very um, revealing as well because then you come um, face to face with the issues that are determining the next set of leaders for this dear country of ours. And you, you, you come in contact with the reality of the lives that people live because we visit various communities and you hear the needs of people as, as they express them and then you put those questions to the politicians and it's interesting sometimes to hear sometimes the fact that it, it seems as if the politicians are disconnected with the reality on the ground because then if you go into a community and they tell you that we need pre-mixed fuel, that the pre-mixed fuel is so expensive and we are losing our jobs and we are not catching enough fish from the sea because there's activities of some foreign vessels going on and you don't listen to them and a week after or a couple of weeks after you wait, you lose an election in those same areas then I see the interface between what radio can do in terms of really raising the issue. So the, the campaign the trail was a two hour program. Indeed it was a two hour program. Two to four on every FM day, in every Ghana. Every weekday, yes. What was the most difficult interview you had to do? It probably had to do with um, a very difficult politician who was basically refusing to, you know, listen to the question that was being put to him. Why should he listen being to being you? To him. And because th this was a questions that community people, his own community people, were asking. These were issues that they were raising. And, so and obviously, you, you, don't, you, don't, you, don't want to, you don't want to name the politician? No, I couldn't name the politician. It was one of the constituencies. And there must be a lot of pressure on a program like this. People want to have free adverts later in the program. Of what sort of pressure have you been under? Well, the, at CDFM it's quite well coordinated, so you couldn't come to me directly and want to add, um, advertise what do you know? what on the of program. What sort of pressure was the program as a whole on there? The program, well, with a lot of politicians all wanting to be on it, um, people calling you and they're not happy with you, they think that you've not been fair to them, so they also want a right of reply on another but day. They have a constitutional a right to rejoin that. Oh, they do. And we do they exercise it on your program? They did, all the time all the time. Someone will be listening to you if they think that you've not done fair by a candidate or um, what you, of, of their party. You can be sure that you're going to get a phone call pretty shortly, either during the program or after the program, so you allow for them. So we are prepared for the runoff. Is this a difficult time? It is, it is more exciting, less difficult because we have lesser candidates to trail, it's just two of them, so the issues are more distilled right now, so it's easier for you to put the questions and to trail two people and then, you know, provide, so choosing the alternative makes it easier for the electorate because they're able to see these two people up close and now I know you graduated from Legon as a geographer, how did you end up in, in the media? Radio? Well, I think even geography is about policy, isn't it? It's not. And it's, not. It's, 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 it's again about policy as well. Because it's about I will not say really, that. Well, I would say that. I think that every knowledge or everybody of knowledge is interrelated, interdependent, and there's a way in which you can always use whatever platform you are in to project whatever that you learn from a different area. So I think that I'm still in the business of informing policy. And it just might be urban slum up upgrading, for example. I mean, the media could use that to advocate for better planning of our cities and all that. So there's an opportunity everywhere that you find yourself. Thank you very much. And Thank I must say, Shamima used to be, I want to think, still is on Africa <laughs> Talks. Uh, I am on Africa Talks. I have to repeat that the campaign show is by far the best political program on radio. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Abel.